Hi everyone, even more so than normal, today I felt the need for a coffee, especially in the times that we're living in at the moment. So I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. So today what I'm gonna be looking at is, well, creating a box, and from creating a box, I'm looking at some details. So I've done a little sketch here, which I've colored in, you can see, and later on some videos, I'll show, I'll look at basic sort of pen rendering. But the theme for today, I think, is um, a tribute to the coffee machine, okay? So let me just start by drawing a box. Okay, so in, in my case, I think the format's gonna be a sort of single coffee machine, you know, single person coffee machine, not one of these big ones that you can see in a restaurant. Okay, so again, quite a quick sketch. Uh, spin my piece of paper around. Okay, so my lines are fairly confident. And again, you know, looking at the perspective of my form. Now, I think in this case, I've got the reservoir. Okay, I've got the tray, I've got the underhang, and I've got the sort of control interface here with obviously the thing that I use to put my coffee granules in. So I've got to sort of divide this thing up. So I might add to it, but for now I'm thinking about dividing it up. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the overhang. Okay, again, making sure it's sort of in correct sort of proportions. And again, going back. Okay, I'm not gonna take too much time because I don't wanna spend ages doing this. Okay. And again, here, you know, I'm gonna sort of bounce that. Okay, so what, what do I wanna do next? Well, it's sort of like the clearance here. A little tray feature, perhaps. And again, let's just drop that in. Okay, making sure my alignments are sort of consistent. And again, you know, going back this way. Okay, and again, you know, every time something hits a corner or an edge, you can sort of bounce it back, and then I can go back up. Okay, so there's sort of basic principles of this sort of coffee machine. Now, I'm gonna make it a little bit more interesting. I don't think there's enough depth there, so maybe there's a slight overhang on this one. So uh, again, nothing stopping me adding to my structure. In fact, you know, you'll often find that you do this. Okay, let's just get that going forward. Okay, and we can look at maybe some rounded corners and some other features later on. Um, what other sections? Okay, so it's got a reservoir. And I think in this case, and what's quite popular with these sort of machines, is that I have a sort of reservoir which is sort of tacked onto the back. Okay, and again, it sort of continues down now I think in this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the reservoir so it's sort of got a slightly angled section there, okay? Now it's a bit linear at the moment. A couple of things I can look at, let's put some sort of curves in. Now I've obviously got the section where I've, you know, I take and refill my coffee thing, and that's gonna be on a sort of cylindrical face on the underside of here. Now. This one here, you can sort of see that I've got this sort of bulge going out, but I think in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna imagine where my sort of center point is there. And just go back. And then my elliptical profile, okay, for where the coffee is gonna be, okay, taken from is gonna be somewhere there. So I'm gonna have, in this instance, let's do another ellipse, okay, just a little bit further down, there you go. And then this is going to be where you see this little section here, okay? Now, I think I'm going to put some radius corners in. I quite like the radius corners here. So, and I think also I like the fact that I've sort of chamfered that detail. So there's gonna be a sort of chamfering detail here. And then on the inside, I've got this sort of curve, okay? So this is gonna basically run up side here okay and then it's going to curve okay like so and then it's going to go back so i've got this sort of chamfering detail doing that okay obviously on the other side i need to sort of repeat that pattern okay again i've got this sort of chamfer might see a little bit of it like so i give myself a little reference point there that's that sort of curve as it starts there and this one here as it sort of finishes again so mimicking that sort of radius there. Okay, I can sort of drop that in and again, go like so. 
Okay, so what else do I want to do? Um, I think I want to put a radius in here. Okay, and I think again, just because it sort of um, makes this form look less linear. Okay, put some curves in. So you can sort of see, basically I'm designing as I go along. Okay, I want to sort of design interface for this as well. Um, maybe I've got some sort of analog dial on the front. Again, maybe it's offset, it's maybe to the side, maybe there's two dials. Again, you know, this is sort of part of the sort of design thinking, you know, as you, you go about your everyday sort of design tasks, you know, what, what does it want to look like? How am I making it more interesting? Okay, and again, that section there. Okay, I think this one's going to be straight back. I don't think I'm going to put any sort of elliptical profile on this one. Okay, what I want to do though next, I think, is I want to draw in the sort of handle section. So again, this elliptical profile here, let's sort of drop that in. And again, there it is, okay? And in this case here, it's going to be coming out towards me. Okay, so I'm going to get it coming out towards me. And again, um, the alignment of this, where is that elliptical profile going to be? And which is my angle or direction on here? You know, where, how do I want to do that? How do I want to establish that? So it might be that my face is actually slightly at an angle. Okay, and then I can drop that back. Sort of drop it in like so. Okay, maybe just have an additional feature there because that looked like it was a little bit on the narrow side. Okay, I'm gonna round some corners here again. So let's just do that. Again, the sort of playing with ellipses. Okay, which is circles in perspective. Okay, and then, you know, I'm, I'm using my sort of trusty orange brick at the moment to sort of do my line weights. And, you know, there's a little bit of a ways to go with this to be fair in terms of sort of establishing a nice little sketch, but you can see I'm beginning to get there. Again, you know, my line weights, you know, when do I put evidence of them being in front of something else? Okay, or being of a, a darker consistency. So again, on here, you know, let's bring this to the forefront. Okay, so you can definitely see what's going on clearly okay so a couple more things let's just put another line here i want to dial on here again you know let's think about how that dial might be now we've got a curved surface here so does it want to sort of extend into that i mean i could sketch the parameters of where i want that sort of analog perhaps device to be Okay, if it helps me. And I think actually thinking about that, I quite like now that I've just sketched that in. And I can actually see it almost as something which is re recessed. Excuse me for turning the paper all the way around. Okay. And we've got something which is recessed. And then I think within there, again, you know, draw my elliptical profile in the sort of alignment. So I'm gonna sort of draw my line sort of this way. Okay, to sort of hopefully get my elliptical alignment. And I think this one's gonna be some sort of pointer. Okay, so I sort of turn that, crank that round and determine the strength of my copy or whatever. Okay, a couple more things. Let's just drop in a couple of lines going across here. Establish the line weight on this. And again on, here. In fact, let me just grab my trusty pen tool and then we can just, and I think also I might have some feet on this one. So let's actually establish it with the, with the pen tool. Let's sort of get that in. Looks like the pen tool is running out a bit. Okay. Need a short little shadow on this one. Again, maybe. Okay, in fact, I'll leave the 
I'll keep the pen till I can't find my Sharpie. Okay, let's just drop that in. Okay, and then do my hatching. Okay, just carry on round. Establish a few extra lines with a darker line weight. Maybe there's a slight chamfer there. Okay, again on here. And again, you know, the darker line weights when I sort of establish some other colour. Again, I would be bringing the, this front side out slightly more so you can sort of see, you know, what's hitting my eyesight first. Again, on here. Okay, again, you know, these sort of features here, I would be bringing them out so that you can sort of see it. Okay, so little sketch of a copy maker. And now I think I'm going to make myself one. So, see you soon.